I would say the main thing, first of all, is desperation. Um, I had tried a lot of things on my own and I wasn't getting any relief. Actually, I was getting kind of worse. And um, when I came across the information um, that you provided, I thought what made me go ahead and reach out was uh, honestly the um, no cost first assessment. So I thought, you know, it doesn't hurt to talk and at least see if I could get some help. And so low risk to me initially. And so that's why I just went ahead and scheduled that appointment. Right. Well, I think my best experience, I, I find you very knowledgeable and very reactive to um, you listen, I think is a good thing to what experiences that we're having, even though it's a, it's a virtual platform that it's like you're really right in the room. And so because of that, I think you're responsive to your my personal needs and able to point me in the direction to get some um, improvement. Well, initially, I thought this crazy. I mean, that's just the honest truth. Um, I thought there's no way that's going to help because it's so simple. And but then when we started it and it did, you know, I think I said <laughs> I've told you that first time. I'm like, it's like a voodoo doctor, but it really does help in that something something so simple uh, makes a big difference. The biggest accomplishment is that I'm walking over a mile. Um, and when I called you in the spring, I was barely walking down the hall. I'm a principal of an elementary school and I was barely walking down the hallway. Um, and so that is my biggest, I mean, I even did last night up and down a hill. Um, and so that was, I mean, I wasn't doing that in May, I believe is when I talked to you in May. Um, and my progress, I mean, that obviously shows progress, but my progress was even noticed by my staff. When we came back into school this year, they're like, what happened to you? You're moving so much better. So it's not just me thinking I'm doing better. They, it's noticeable. Well, I think I'm a little more, I didn't realize that I was so hesitant to do some things like planning my social calendar around, well, where, where are we going? How much walking is that involved? How much, you know, what is this going to do? And how much I really was avoiding, um, some things, some of it I did on purpose, but some of it was a little, um, in my subconscious and I've, I've not had that hesitancy that I was having in the spring. I mean, I, I just think don't be hesitant. I mean, I know that sounds simple, but it's like, you know, I came across you on Facebook. And so in this world of scams and is this really the real thing? And I mean, I had the little, I thought, well, if it don't help me when I talk to him, I'm not doing that. And just to jump right in, I mean, because Honestly, I wish I'd have found out about it in February. Maybe I wouldn't have been in the shape I was in in May. You know, mm. so the longer your, hesit your hesitation, really, the longer you're just delaying yourself getting better. I think for somebody who maybe not have um, maybe experienced anything like this, especially virtual, because I know that you appeal to older women, you know, and you really work to that. And people might be hesitant because of the interface to not that it's really like having somebody sitting right here with you um looking at that it's it's a more personable than what you realize honestly i went my church is uh, kind of up on a hill it's not real steep so the grades aren't that bad but nonetheless it's a hill and i walked all the way down so i even told my husband coming up labor day weekend we like to hike in red river gorge and I said, let's go do a simple trail, just a simple one, because yeah. I've not hiked in, a, well, since uh, early last last summer. Yeah. So, I mean, being able to even willing to go do that and tackle that is a testament of how much better it is.